What's up, guys? It's your boy, Ty, and I appreciate you guys coming to check me out on the podcast. Make sure that you drop a like, a comment, something, so this can reach so many more people. Those likes and comments, it really helps the channel, the podcast. It helps with interaction. I appreciate you guys being here, and I just wanted to let you guys know what I was going to be doing this year as it pertains to investing. So last year, follow me. If you don't follow me, if you're new here, I appreciate you coming. Go check out my stuff from last year. Last year, I was heavy on crypto. I said at the beginning of last year, it was gonna be a crypto year and I was gonna dial into those cryptocurrencies and I did that. And now, because I did that, I'm in good positions if any of my crypto investments take off and I have good positions because I never let off the gas with my crypto investments last year. I'm only investing into three cryptocurrencies currently Ethereum, which is staked on Coinbase Amp token, which is staked on the Flexa network and Cosmos Adam. And that is on Coinbase as well. And I earn APY on that. So, you see the trending topic right here. I have things staked or I'm earning interest on my cryptocurrency. Kind of like dividends. Okay, so of course, cryptocurrencies do not earn dividends, but that interest can be kind of like a dividend. So I made sure that I'm in cryptocurrencies that are actually paying interest and giving me some type of kickback for my money. And that is because, you know, I love dividends, but those are currently the three cryptos that I'm holding and I'm good. I'm going to let that sit. We're going to hold that. I'm not going to pull out on anything. But this year, dividends. I'm back to dividends, 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 dividends. Dividends are the safest investments that I make. Dividends are the one investment that I can see and I can see that in the future, they will pay off. Now, this isn't financial advice. If you need a financial advisor, please go seek out a financial advisor. This is just me telling you what I'm doing in the market. When I invest in dividends, I see myself building wealth. Dividends pay off when you're investing for a long period of time. That's why I invest in dividend companies in custodial accounts for my kids because those dividends can start building and stacking and building and stacking while they're still kids, not even in school yet. And if I can keep that building and stacking, when they become an adult, they will have their college money. They will have a decent start in life. And that can be my gift to them, my way of giving them wealth, building up them a custodial account that they can pull money from while they're in college or they can, you know, go ahead and cash out the whole account. But hopefully their accounts will be decent enough that they won't have to pull anything out just like my account in retirement. That's the goal for me. I want to have investing accounts that we can just pass down because we're so invested in dividends and that wealth is just transferring. Dividends is almost like collecting rent. Almost is not the same. Of course, it's not property, but it's owning something and getting paid for owning it. You know, so that's how I see dividends. That's how I see dividend investing. Yes, retirement is a little ways off. Yes, I'm middle age. I'm in my 30s. So retirement is still a little ways off. But even if I don't make it to retirement, right, I'm going to have this bundle of stocks that earn passive income that I can pass to my family. They will have their own bundle of stocks that they can generate passive income and keep it with themselves or in the family. And this is how I plan on building generational wealth. To have something in the pocket that they are constantly earning from and they don't have to go and sell anything. They don't have to lose their assets. They can just hold the assets and earn money. And that is the possibility with dividend investing, dividend stocks. I know everybody that follows my channel probably already know this because I know you are a smart dividend investor yourself, right? 
right 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 if you're not right. make sure you check out some of my dividend investing videos i have started a few shorts episodes in this title let's build a dividend portfolio and i'm going to be going into what i hold in my dividend portfolio how i pick my stocks in my dividend portfolio why i pick certain stocks that are in my dividend portfolio and it's just basically what I'm doing and how I'm planning on building wealth. So maybe you might want to watch some of it. You might take a little something from it. Or, you know, if you're a beast, maybe you can tell me, you know, what you think about it. I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew my game plan for this year. If you want to hear a little bit more about crypto, drop it in the comments. Maybe I will do something with crypto. But right now, I'm going to be focusing on dividend investing so with that being said if you are interested in dividend investing and you want to be able to track your portfolio make sure you check in the comments below and the description of the video and check out dividend watch this is what i'm going to be using the whole time for these shorts dividend watch dividend watch is a great place to check up on your dividends but more importantly you can see your future dividends and track your future portfolio and that is pretty powerful so make sure you check out dividend watch in the comments and the description and see y'all later peace